Hello everyone, this is Bhuneswari Tevraj, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. In this presentation, we will focus on definition of group and the abelian group with examples. Let us start the session. We learn the concepts of group with examples and we will understand the concept of abelian group and Finally, we will know various notation used for set of numbers. Let's start into the topic group. Firstly, see the definition. A non-empty set of elements G is form a group if in G that is defined a binary operation dot satisfies the CAIN property. Before I explain this CAIN property, let me first tell you the group G is a one set with one binary operation. Here, the binary operation means take any two elements in the group G, namely A and B. Then operate these two elements by binary operation star, we get the output A star B, which is also belonging to the same group G. Then it is said to be a binary operation. What is CAIN property? The properties are C for closer, A for associative, I for identity and finally N for inverse. These four properties are satisfied then G comma dot is said to be a group. Please note here this dot is a binary operation. It going to take two inputs and going to generate the outputs when we see an example it will be easy for you we are done with definition of group let's now see the definition of abelian group a group g is said to be abelian or committed to if for every a comma b in g then a dot b which is equal to b dot a a group is said to be abelian Firstly, it should be satisfy these four properties, namely closer property, associative property, identity property and inverse property and also with one additional property. That additional property is called commutative property. If these four property and commutative property is also satisfied, then this group is said to be an abelian group. When we see an example, then it will be clear for you. So before stepping into the example, let's see the properties. If it is a group, then it should be satisfying closer property, associative property, identity element should be exist and inverse element should also exist. Then it is said to be a group. In additionally, one property that is commutative property is also satisfied then it should form an abelian group. Now let's see the explanation of each properties. Let's first focus on closer property. Let take two elements a comma b that is belonging to the group G such that a dot b operations is also in the group then closer property is satisfied. The closer property is also satisfied the binary operation. Then what is next? The associative. So a dot b dot c which is equal to a dot b dot c. For all the values of a comma b comma c that's belonging to the g. When this is satisfied then associative property is satisfied. Then what is identity element? Let's take a element a. Then that element a is performed to the operation dot with the other element e and when this a dot e or e dot a gives again a then identity element is satisfied where this a and e is in a part of the group and what is the next one yes it is an inverse element if you take element a and this a should have its inverse in the group so that element a and its inverse element under this dot operation will give the identity element which we have same in the previous property which is the identity element so when a dot a dash is the inverse then when it is gives an identity element 
for a comma a dash which belonging to g then it there exists an inverse element these four properties are satisfied then it is a group a group is said to be a abelian group if it is satisfies the commutative property that is a dot b which is equal to b dot a for all a comma b belongs to g let's see the example for group and abelian group the question is z comma plus is a group or not we know that z means set of all integers the set of all integers are negative numbers zero and positive numbers of forming a set of integer that is represented as z so uh, now deal with the closer property let's take any two elements namely a and b form a group here a is equal to minus 2 and b equal to 3 then operate these two values by binary operation addition we get 1 this number is exists in the integer is it so closer property is satisfied next one associative property take any three elements namely a equal to minus 2 b equal to 3 and c equal to 2 then substitute these values to associative property condition we get 3 these elements is also exist our integer is that then associative property is satisfied next one identity element here note that in additive identity element is 0 and multiplicative identity element is 1 here our question is set of all integer under addition is a group or not so in addition the identity element or 0 here a equal to minus 2 and e is 0 add this two element we get again minus 2 here this negative element is also belonging to our set of all integers then identity element is also satisfied next one inverse element here a is minus 2 and its inverse element is 1 sorry plus 2 then add these two element we get the identity element 0 then inverse element is satisfied these four property namely closer associative identity element inverse element these four properties are satisfied then given set of all integer under addition is a group now check this group was abelian or not so we know that if a group is abelian if it is satisfied four properties with also sorry commutative property the commutative property is a dot b equal to b dot a here a is minus 2 and b is 3 add these two elements we get positive 1 that is plus 1 this one element is exist our integer is that so commutative property is also satisfied then the default integer under addition is a group and also the default integer under addition is a abelian group now see the notation n for set of all natural numbers it start from 1 2 3 and etc w means set of all whole numbers it start from 0 1 2 3 and etc is that means set of all integers we know that integers means it came with positive numbers 0 and negative numbers c for set of all complex numbers it comes real and imaginary number q for set of all rational numbers we know that rational numbers are p by q form or for set of all real numbers it come minus infinity to plus infinity numbers is that plus means set of all positive numbers is that minus means set of all negative numbers now the question for you set of all natural numbers under addition is a group or not before you checking this i give some clue here n is set of all natural numbers so natural numbers start from 1 2 3 4 up etc now our question is set of all natural number and addition is a group or not so simply we know that the four properties closer associative identity inverse 
these four properties are satisfied our natural number and our addition then given set is group or not please check this question and comment your answer in chat box we will see the next video thank you